appreciate your call. Look, what people do is they invent new special conspiracies that are theirs. Okay, and by the way, I had Peter Del Scott on 10 years ago talking about the CMP. Uh, and for you to say I never talk about it isn't true. I, I brought it up with him when he was on, I think, the show last time. Burma's asked him about it for the film he's making. He, he's in there. So I don't work for the Republican Party. Um, I have different guests on. I mean, I had Rothschild on. People say I must like him. No, I had him on and skewered him. In fact, we're going to skip this last break because I want to have time to hit these other two articles. I swear I'd get to. But on this subject, um, that was the Hunt brothers, and they wanted to take over politics, and they were big anti-Kennedy people, and, 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 and that is a right-wing thing. But I mean, people send me emails saying, there's proof you're CNP and all this. I'm not. I don't even go to Republican meetings. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I don't go to anything. It, 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 it's like an inquisition. I'm talking about naked body scanners, cameras in your computer watching you, the IRS out of control, banks stealing trillions, bring them to justice. I'm interviewing Peter Dell Scott over and over again. He can talk about whatever he wants on this show. And then it's like, ooh, Alex Jones won't talk about uh, CMP, Council on National Policy. Is that right? Council on National Policy? I mean, it, it, it's, a, it, it's a group, I think back in the 80s, where whether it was co-opting the anti-New World Order movement or was good and then got bad, I haven't really studied it that much. I just know there's all sorts of groups and interchanging organizations. I mean, I'm criticizing Pat Robertson. You're, you're discrediting yourself with what you're saying. I was just talking bad about Robertson. Dr. Paul Craig Roberts admits he used to be a big Republican. Now he comes out against him. I mean, you judge a tree by its fruits. I'll bring CMP up. Uh, remind me, guys, next time Roberts is on with us, he'll talk about it. I mean, they just, I think they get together and have meetings and talk about how they want to take over the Republican Party. I mean, that stuff goes on everywhere. It's, it's, it's like a, there's a camp that says I work for the Jews, which I don't. There's a camp that says I work for the Catholics, which I don't. There's a camp that says I'm a Scientologist, which I'm not. Never been to their meeting, know nothing about it other than it, pretty goofy stuff from L. Ron Hubbard. And it looks like they've done some bad things in the past. Um, CMP. I mean, I'm here doing what I do. I'm here covering issues. And this is why, as a society, we are so screwed up. I mean, I've got people saying I work for oil companies. That's what David Rothschild said on this show. You know, you work for oil companies. I get zero money from oil companies. I actually have family in East Texas you know, in those areas. An oil well might bring in like 500 bucks a month or something. They're little teeny things. I think my grandma said she gets about 100 bucks a month from some. Because the way oil wells work is somebody will have an oil well on their property, but it's like a pool. And then people with adjoining property, we've got some family land in West Texas. I, th I think decades ago, the well wasn't played out. I think she got a couple hundred bucks a month off that. So, I mean, I guess in a way, it, it's actually true. I, I, I mean, I'm in Texas. I got, But, I mean, I'm not here saying global warming isn't real because I work for oil companies. Oil companies... Uh, most of the big ones, including Dutch Royal Shell, BP, ExxonMobil. I mean, Google right now, ExxonMobil in favor of carbon tax and endorses global warming. I mean, climate gate is real. I I'm covering this because I don't want a $2.6 billion tax on my electricity in the next three years in Austin. But no, no, I work for the oil companies. No, I, I work for me. I don't own any stocks, any bonds. I work for Alex Jones and Freedom. And, and, and notice that we open the phones up and it's just got to be about Alex Jones. And that's why we can't go anywhere. Because here's the deal. People are waking up. We're making giant strides. But people who are caught in this infighting paradigm, they can't make any strides. Because I don't know, it's a form of illness or something. Uh, I've always noticed we'll have FEMA camp documents and we post them and nobody wants to read them. They're not popular. But if I post a photo uh, of something people might think is a camp, there'll be a thousand comments and it'll go viral on the Internet. It's like speculation is always king. Is this guy a reptoid or are Chubacabras real or 
you know, things like this. And I'm here covering real news. I'm here breaking news. I'm here documenting. I'm here dis I'm here making award-winning films and giving them to you for free. I hope you'll buy them on DVD at InfoWars.com and support us. And it's just crazy. You never talk about this organization, but on this show, you said this about it. I mean, it looks like a lot of its activities are bad. And I said, looks like it's a junior CFR. I mean, hell, the CFR actually writes many of the laws like Homeland Security and others and immigration policy that are implemented word for word in law. And I'm not saying the CFR runs everything. It's this mental illness about, well, you know, mainstream media every day attacks me. Every day there's an article saying, Jones says it's the Trilateral Commission, Bilderberg Group, CFR, Club of Rome, UN. Which is it, Alex? I didn't say that. If you look at who heads up all those groups, including the CMP and all these scores of groups, it's literally like a hundred people that head up all the groups. And that's how they control money and power and other politically active groups, diverse groups. Everybody in the CFR isn't bad. Most of them are like porch masons who are, who are on the outside of the thing. And, and, and this is the management. I mean, read Carol Quigley's book, An Insider. He explains how all of this operates. And so I'm here saying, no, the major Protestant groups, the major Jewish groups, the major Catholic groups, most of the major Arab countries are all part of this power alliance. The globalists have got deals with the Chinese rulers. It's the ruling class using systems of control to dominate the population. And the ruling class uses big government and the threat of terror and other hoaxes like phony environmentalism as an excuse to get you to give up your life, give up your freedom. I mean, I meant to get to this more today, but here it is at the end. Here's an example. Information Week. DHS may scrap Border Patrol Project. The Department of Homeland Security is reevaluating a plan to add security cameras, radar, and sensors to patrol efforts along the U.S.-Mexican border. Well, they only built 50-something miles of the 2,000-plus-mile fence. They used illegals to do that. But meanwhile, all over the country, they've got checkpoints 10 miles, 20 miles, 100 miles deep, the Border Patrol searching citizens. And here's an L.A. Times article about that today. What American border agents search and seize? It's the same thing as the TSA. They take your cell phone. They take your computer. Sometimes keep it two, three months. Take their sweet time downloading everything off of it without a warrant. And giving it to law enforcement if they find anything they think is criminal. They just grab your electronics and just do this. And it says here they're going after citizens. The Border Patrol was used up in um, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for the G20. In the last half, in the last year and a half, civil liberties groups and businesses travel leaders have complained about U.S. Border Patrol agents, broad authority to search and seize laptops, other electronic gadgets carried by international travelers. The new information details the extent to which this has happened. And it's just a hellish article about how they're just grabbing thousands and thousands and thousands. Um, in one county, the one that borders the, uh, San Diego and, and, and Mexico, 1,644 devices from travelers entering and leaving the country, according to data of the American Civil Liberties Union. And they took cell phones, laptops, digital cameras, MP3 players, flash drives, hard drives, DVDs. I mean, they just seize whatever they want like they're drugs. And now they want to do this to vitamins. I didn't get to John McCain. He's got a bill to make us like Canada to start restricting vitamins. See, you're being attacked by the power elite. You've got to get them back under the Constitution, get that hedge of protection back around us, and start slashing government. Instead, they're raising taxes, growing government. The whole economy's falling apart. The enemy is the new world order. That's what we've got to get focused on and remove these systems instead of arguing all day about who runs it. See you back tomorrow. Retransmission starts now. Great job, crew. You are listening to GCN. Don't forget the free iPhone Visit app. Send it to all your friends. Today. The free iPhone app. Get it, folks. iPhone app. 
Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center?